I wanted to show you my collection of peanuts paperbacks from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And here they are. Um, I didn't put like three of them because I couldn't find them. I have like three more. And two of them don't have covers anymore. But uh, they're in another room. So I, did, I couldn't find them. But this is mostly what I have right here. These are great. I love these. Yeah, these are the covers, and let me show you the back. The back of these, oh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I love reading these. I already have some of the the hardbacks from these. You know, they made them through hardbacks now. You can get the whole collection. I already have a bunch of those. Those are great too. But I just love these. And, and be careful with these books because they break. They fall apart very easily. Very, very easily. I, I have two of them with no um, cover already and they're really in bad shape. But these are great. Yeah, look at this one. Uh, teenager is not a disease by Charles Schultz. This is. A, they're not as funny as the Peanuts ones. Definitely not, but that. They're so cool. You know, I like these. He did a couple that weren't Peanuts. Charles Schultz did. I highly recommend these books. These are just so great. I love looking at these. They're so funny. Still funny after all these years. Yeah. Definitely. I highly recommend these old books. Um, definitely worth getting. You could probably find them on online or you could probably find them at used bookstores and stuff. I wish they would reprint these again. But definitely with getting, I mean, they're, they're a treasure for me, they are. If you like cartoons, movies, books, music, I demand you subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, be prepared to subscribe or be prepared for two. Do. do not resist, do not resist, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe.